When Mike D's in the house, what you gonna do? We go AWOL. When MCA's in the house, what you gonna do? We go AWOL. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out. Got another custom e-bike build for you today. Today we are going AWOL. That's right, there's a theme. We're not talking military. We're talking bicycling, AWOL. This is the specialized AWOL. I want to go into it, what I did to it, how we made it a killer e-bike. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I make bikes into e-bikes. Love it, I'm obsessed with it. Um, if you're into things like that, check out my other channel or check out my other videos on this channel and consider subscribing. We've really shortened the subscribing process down. It used to take forever, a lot of handwriting letters back and forth um, just to make validate. We used to do a lot of validation, but now we don't validate anybody and anybody can just subscribe to this channel. It's a free for all. It's crazy what's going on now. We just allow anybody to subscribe to this channel. So if you just wanna be like everybody else, you can subscribe to this channel. It's up to you. This is a specialized AWOL. This is an interesting bike. First of all, it's got drop bars. A Little bit more tricky. If this is your first install, you may find this being a little tricky. Um, you need some more adapters and we'll get into what kind of adapters you're gonna need. But yeah, this is a, I, I guess this is considered a, a gravel bike. It's not quite a road bike. It's, I mean, it is a road bike, but it's got, check out these tires. These are big beefy tires. These are 28 by 2.0s. I actually really like this setup. I've never really liked those true super skinny tires. I know they just like slide through the pavement, but with these little fatter tires, it gives you a lot of confidence. If you ever hit, you know, wet pavement or anything like that, this is gonna give you a lot more traction. It's nice, it's got a rear rack on here so you can turn this into a commuter, put some pannier bags on here. It's got mechanical disc brakes, so the disc, the brakes work really well. Um, the pedals are one side clipped, the other side non-clipped. I think that's about all that I care about talking about for the bike. <laughs> Let's get into the mechanics. Uh, I went with a BBS 02 motor, it's a 750 watt motor, pulls 25 amps at peak, so it depends, you just times that by the voltage that you're putting on. This is a 52 volt battery. Um, it's a 17 and a half amp hour. So this is gonna, this is gonna give you a good range because these road bikes are more efficient. They, they just take up less power to move. You know, big fat bikes are like pontoon boats. They're not very fuel efficient if you've ever been on water. So we paired this with a 36 tooth Lecky. So this is gonna be really good at hill climbing and low speed for hill climbing cruising at low speeds. It's a lot better for the motor. It allows the motor to spin really fast. That's what motors like to spin fast. They don't like to spin slow and have a lot of amps being put to them. We put a gear shift sensor right here. So that just acts like a automatic clutch. When you're shifting gears, it just disengages the motor for about a second, lets the chain slip into the next gear and then sends power back to the motor and back to the chain ring. It saves your chain, saves your rear cassette. It's a no brainer. Um, currently they're 29 bucks. That's the easiest 29 bucks you'll ever spend. You can check out my website. If you have a mid drive and you don't have a gear shift sensor, head over to my website, buy one. I don't know why you don't have one. Okay, I think that's all the, the back end, the rear end of this bike. Let's, let's take a look at its eyes up here. So drop bars, a little bit trickier. You can't really put brake cutoffs in the normal sense up here. So for that, I had to put inline brake off, brake cutoff. And I, I didn't wrap this up yet because I wanted to show you guys what's going on underneath the scenes. I'm gonna cable wrap these to make them look nicer. So you can see we got brake cutoffs here and it pretty much is the same principle as the gear shift sensor. It's just a little roller pin in there that senses when the cable is moving, it cuts power. And then when it goes back, it allows power to go back on. To mount your toggle switch and your throttle, you need a thing called a handle bob, or I mean, there's other variants of it, but these are made by Grin Tech up in Canada, and it allows you to mount something at a 90 degree angle. So it just changes the angle. So you can see it just mounts to the handlebar at a 90 degree angle, and then it allows you to mount your throttle. For the display, we went with the 850C. They wanted something with a USB out, and you could see there's a USB plug so that you could plug this in, charge your phone, lights, anything you have like of that nature. Let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test, uh, where we test how this bike performs on hill climbing from a standstill and from a rolling start, and we just check out the all-out top speed. Let's hit it.
All right, so you can see this bike, 35 miles an hour, that's plenty fast. That's just with the motor, no pedaling. And hill climbing, this thing is a beast. It, it fucked me off on the first time doing this, and so I had to do another one. Um, so hill climbing, this thing will go up anything that you could stay on this bike. This will go up it, as long as you could stay on it, it will go, it'll climb it. This is a really nice bike, and if you're thinking about doing a drop bar, you know, you just need to get some adapters and just be mindful of, you know, routing the, you're gonna have to do brake, inline brake cutoffs, which, you know, are a little bit of a pain. You're gonna have to clip some cable housing to fit these in, but it's not that difficult. All right, thanks guys.